There are 38 ships as of making this in LE dangerous and choosing the right one is important. So, I bet you have questions. What is a one pump chump? Well, Bob, it's probably how you were made. That also reminds me of the ships for today's lineup. To make it completely clear, some of these ships are here because they are bad, others because they are predominantly just useful in one way and one way only. Frankly, I had trouble placing these ships in other categories, so this is a result of the mishmash conglomeration roasted puke ice cream. The line of okay and bad here is blurred, so tread carefully, my child, as there be dragons and treasure in them one-way caves. Let's then start with the first problem child, Hauler. Now I've gone on the record saying it is a living breathing amalgamation of putrid shit. And all of it is due to the stupid name. Well, okay, it's about 90%. See, the word hauler implies a cargo ship. Well, guess what? It's not. And yet, for example, on the other hand, courier fits the Imperial ship with such a name perfectly. But the word hauler can be nowhere near close to what hauler actually does best. Jumping! It has one of the top 5 jump ranges in the game. Seriously, this thing's nothing but a chair strapped to a frame shoot drive and oxygen and fuel tanks. Though most people end up using this ship as a taxi for transferring all their ships from one place to another. So yeah, that's that one use I was talking about for this ship. So dispensable and useful. It's basically a space condom. Just a shame it's not called a hopper instead. Hey, maybe let's make a petition. Oh boy, the Type 7. Actually, did you know that a while back, developers made a mistake while balancing this ship? See, they increased the ship's jump range to such an extent that it beat out fucking Anaconda! Yes, it indeed needed something something to make it an option at that price range, and jump range was the way to go with it, but not to such an extent. Still, that wasn't the funniest bit. See, they did change it after that little mistake to a more reasonable jump range, and people were happy for about a few weeks, until developers released the new mining, as the new mining tools, the tools that made real money, i.e. seismic rock penetrators, were medium weapons, and even the subsurface tool was medium sized. So can you guess what all the Type 7 enthusiasts at that moment felt? Well, let me put it in two pictures. At this point, the ship is only good for cargo transport. Oh, and some epic level meme lord trolling in combat. Since, you know, it has the best your turn rate in the game. <laughs> she should not. Second best goes to assault ship. <laughs> Fucking god and Jesus Christ. Speaking of, Assault Ship's here too! A pure combat ship that has little to no applications outside of its niche field does end up being that specialized tool. Frankly, the ship is pretty awesome, that's true. I mean, what other ship would give you an ice cream dispenser on one side and coffee machine on the other? Yeah, I think none. Well, okay, aside from the other piggies. But regardless, having poor internals for anything other than combat and pair it with the jump range of a granny, well, yeah, you get that one-use ship for sure. Oh, and did we talk about army rank requirement unlock? Oh boy, the Orca. A ship that I don't even know what to do with, let alone describe. Well, besides it being a massive space dildo for Targo, it's Snoo Snoo. Yeah, the ship has some cargo space and it has some jump range, so I guess it's okay for exploration, but not much else. And no, combat is not one of them. And if you see somebody doing combat with it and succeeding, either A, the pilot is pretty goddamn good, B, the opponent has arms going out of their ass to be that bad and lose to that ship, or C, all of the above. So, yeah, one use, and that's exploration. Next up, then, ah, oh, it pains me to put the ship here with other pony furry level degenerates, but here goes the Vulture. I love this ship, it's fantastic to fly, fantastic to shoot, silly and great for what it's made. Even though there's no conceivable reason to have a co pilot seat, ah, oh, but what about the mid battle shit power sting? Well, yeah, I guess that works. Kinda. And finally, the Big Bertha, the Thick Mama, the Space Cow Type 9. Funny how a while back when Type 10 got released, both ships had identical internals and thus it made Type 10 actually better one. But good that developers realized that issue. Well, eventually. Like, 
months later and gave Type 9 a bit of a leg up as the Cutter and even Corvette, a ship that basically was a massive gun platform, outmatched a purpose-built trader ship. So they gave Type 9 an extra internal slot, making it more competitive. Overall, the ship is only good for one thing having lots of cargo. Its jump range is pretty abysmal and worse is its maneuverability, so both exploration and even troll combat is out of the window. Like a soon-to-be mincemeat parkour wannabes. Trading and mining would be the only viable things despite low jump range. And you tolerate it because, well, you can carry shit ton of um, uh, well, shits and other pleasant commodities. Like hardcore drags and slaves. But that's about it in this little tier. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that some of you weirdos in the crowd are about to use or are already using one or more ships for their unintended or unsuited gameplays. Like trading with a vulture with turreted weapons on. Like some sort of psychopathic maniac. If that's the case, I'd love to hear your experiences in the upside down world down below. But hey, maybe there are some ships you'd take out or put in. Just let me know, and of course, maybe share the video around as well, it helps, for sure. Now let's see, um, if you're clinically insane, well, far be it for me to prevent you from enjoying the nature's pleasure that is playing with shit, so maybe you can enjoy the bad tier ships. Maybe okay tier of okay ships? Okay? Okay.